Hi there, Greg Holmson with part four in our deep dive series into recruiting out of the Philippines. So we've had our lineup, we've got our selection, we've got our trade skills assessment, we've now lodged the visa and we've got an outcome where we have a travel ban exemption and our candidates are on their way to their new job in Australia to help out our clients who are desperate for the skills that they require to be able to fill the positions they've got but also to be able to grow their business in line with the market opportunity. So what happens then? Now that's where it's a really interesting part of our business and we have an enormous amount of work to do after a candidate arrives. So we set them up with bank accounts, tax file number, uh, health insurance, whatever else is required for them to actually technically arrive and be able to get on with their job. But the really key or really important part of this now is our lifetime relationships program. This is where we've got a whole team of people in the Philippines that ensure the success of the candidate. And as I said right at the very beginning of this, um, that the success of the, the success of the candidate reflects directly towards the success of our clients. But we make sure that this journey is a successful one for our candidates. We care a lot about their welfare and making sure that not only they are successful, but their family back at home are happy and there aren't any issues. So we maintain contact with our candidates for life. It's a lifetime relationship that we have with everyone we put on a, on a plane. And if there are any issues, and they do come up, Although we've got about a 99% success rate with candidates staying in their job and being able to complete their job without any trouble at all, every now and again something does come up and our team come into play to actually sort out any, any challenges that they have. And we've had some and where candidates have considered looking for other work, we make sure that we're very clear about what it is that they are doing there and what their purpose is. And we guarantee our candidates for two years, but really that's not what it's about. You know, they want permanent residency. They will need to be with the same client for three years before that can be applied for. And it takes about a year before the application comes through. So pretty much it's, it's four years until the candidates will have permanent residency. And at that stage, they're entrenched, love what they're doing, and pretty much lock themselves in for a very long time when it comes to the client. So. We think this is a really important part of the, the overall success of what we do. So much work goes into this, both from a client's perspective and a candidate's perspective, and seeing this right through the last bit, which is the most important part, because it's one thing to spend all this time and effort and money getting someone there. If they don't stay, well, the whole thing has been worthless for everyone ourselves, the client, and the candidate. So the energy that we put into that, there is no holds barred on what we will do to make sure that this is successful for everyone. So that's a wrap in this series. Thanks for listening. Please shoot back any questions that you've got. I love, we all love doing this, and we love transforming lives by connecting great talent with great job opportunities. It's something that we live and breathe every day at the Philippines Recruitment Company and happy to share and discuss this with anyone that's got the time and wants to talk about it. Greg Holmson, Philippines Recruitment Company. Thanks so much for listening. Cheers.